हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू एंगुलर जे एस टूटोरियल सीरीज पार्ट फोर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट एन जी रिपीट इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज डायरेक्टिव एंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डायरेक्टिव बट इफ यू डिडेंट कवर दिट येट आई स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड टू फर्स्ट गो थ्रू विद डेट टू हैव बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन डायरेक्टिव इन एंगुलर जे एस क्लिक हेयर टू विजिट माई लास्ट वीडियो ऑन डायरेक्टिव so now let's start with ng repeat if you talk about any application they always have data in form of collection collection of invoice products and maybe collection of customers and we need a way to iterate over the data and write it out into our web page so angular js has a directive called ng repeat ng repeat is a built-in directive in angular js which we often use to looping the data the way we use for for and for each loop in javascript so ng repeat directive repeats a set of html a given number of times the ng repeat can be used to iterate over a array or object So now let's take a simple example to understand how ng repeat will work in angular js and as of now i have already set up the basic file index.html where i have already included script and ng app directive now to iterate over the collection we need data actual data will come from controller that may be fetched through service but as of now to keep this demo limited to ng repeat only we are storing the data here only so we will use one more built in directive of angular js ng init ng init directive defines the initial values for the angular js application so first create ng init directive and here we will create a names property that will store a array of names so here i am creating one simple array that will hold different names that you want to use in your application so as of now i have just stored three values in my names property now the next thing i want to display these name on my web page in an unordered list so i will create ul tag add li tag and use ng repeat on that element which you want to repeat and we want to repeat li so we will use ng repeat directive on li element so ng repeat will take a property suppose name and it can be anything as per your wish as of now i'm giving it name and for each name in names and remember here this names is the property that we have created in the ng init directive so as it will iterate through name this name will hold different values of your array like john peter and sam now you want to display that name on the web page so you have to use data binding expression that we have already discussed in the previous video so here you just need to display this name here save the changes and now move to your browser to check the output so now here you can see that each element that you have stored in your array it is display on your web page as a unordered list so this is a very simple example to understand the ng repeat with array next if you want to iterate over array of object then keeping this syntax in mind you can do the same let's discuss that one as well let's create one simple array of object suppose i want to hold different users information so i will create one users property that will hold a array but in this array i will create different objects that will call array of object so here i will create object that will hold name of my user so i said john and the department you will repeat for different objects so once you complete with your object so here my ng init is holding a array of object now we want to iterate 
those array of object and want to display on my web page so now we don't want to display those users in a list we want to display it in a table format so quickly let me create one table now again recall the previous demo i told you the element which you want to repeat you have to apply ng repeat on that element now i want to repeat the complete row for different user so on my tr i have to use ng repeat directive and here i will create a property suppose user in your array name users now you have to bind that object to your tt so with the help of data binding expression you will use this user as of now this user will treat like a object that will hold name property and department property so you just need to say user dot name and you will repeat the same for second tt user dot department save the changes and check it on your browser so now we have iterate over array of object and it will display all the properties that we have stored in our object in a table format so this is all for ng repeat and i hope this video will help you to understand ng repeat we will discuss few more directives in the upcoming videos and if you like my video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel in case of any doubt related to this video ask me in the comment section below see you again in the next video bye bye